Let's do it. No, nah, no, nah, let's do this. This is what we do. What we doing? Let's react to uh, this Danny Mulligan nigga and you. Oh, let's do that. Can we rap afterwards? Let's react to this Danny Mulligan because I didn't get to catch it. All right. His name Danny Mullen. Oh, Danny M- Mulligan? Mullen. You mad I said his name wrong? No. All right. I don't give a fuck. It's- All right, let's get into this. <laughs> let's go. Play the tape. I know we're live. That's difficult to do. You'll find that you're mistaken, AD. <laughs> right here, AD, house phone. We have Danny Mullen, and we got King Croc, BBC. King Croc. <laughs> <laughs> BBC nigga. Don't forget his last name. <laughs> Don't forget it. I didn't know you was gonna throw that on at the end. <laughs> see what? See Yo, there it goes. Real. What you mean at the end of that? What is that? The BBC. Oh. No, he said BBC nigga. I you said Don't oh. forget the end. I don't have anything to do <laughs> with no, that. No, 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 no. Before we finish going on, I was wrong. He didn't say that back then. I thought he said it. I don't know if somebody else said it. He didn't say the N word on the, on the end of that shit though. But that's what got me hyped up. I thought he was joking. Because before the show, I was like, you know, he was talking to me, say, oh, hey, nice to meet you. And I was just like, hey, I was like, I don't like some of the shit you heard. We're going to talk about it. You know what I mean? So he was prepared. So I thought that he was like, you know what I mean, trolling me and trying to get a rise out of me. But he didn't say that. So I apologize for that part. No, 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 Daddy, 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 Daddy. You just said, don't forget the end. No, no, no. no. I said that's his last name when he said BBC. I was was really going to start you out, but you just started right now. I think if we replay the tape, I know we're live. It's difficult to do. You'll find that you're mistaken, AD. I was not trying to do that. All I wanted to emphasize is that BBC is his legal last name. But you said, don't forget the end. He said BBC. I don't think I did. He said BBC, nigga. I was BBC your... Official last name, how? Well, I'm a journalist, and so I've worked with a lot of different people. I've been in a lot of different places, and so I just okay. want to make Man, that Man, fuck make all that. that. He said, BBC, uh-huh. nigga, uh, don't forget the this. last. Uh, so we're going we gonna, we gonna to get into the meat and potatoes starting this off, bro. You know, I... No, no, whoa, 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 whoa. Sure, sure. Let, let's keep it G. Now, yeah, yeah, let's do it. before I was not very informed with you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I seen clips of you, yeah. and I was like, oh, that nigga funny. Like, I like him, you know what I'm saying? He's a, I've been he's watching a, bro's he's videos a cool for a guy. And yeah. as soon as they said Daddy Mullen was coming on the show, I seen all of this shit, and I said, oh, yeah, this nigga done fucked up. <laughs> I'm going to keep it real with you, bro. <laughs> yeah. And it's not funny. We're going to joke and do all that shit later, mm-hmm. but I have to say, bro, for one, bro, you did a... a uh, 24 hours homeless in Compton. We did do that. I'm from Compton, California, bro. Yeah. yeah. Word. I don't yeah. think that shit is funny. Was that disrespectful? It was very disrespectful. Okay. Be- and, 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 and you know, I ain't, and, and for everybody watching, this is not going to be the <laughs> let's shit on Danny Mullen show. Nah, it's not it going to be that. But I got to speak my piece. You nah, know what I want to hear it. I want to hear it. I'm, I'm from Compton, California, yes, bro. Sir. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, what was the video about? <laughs> it's a, No, I'm just saying, a lot of the antics in the video, mm-hmm, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? It's like, you playing with our city and our culture, bro, like it's a fucking game for clicks and giggles and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And, and, and I'm a content creator, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I understand the look of it like, damn, I'm going to the one of the most perceived dangerous yeah. places. I thought I was a badass. Y- you could have thought you was a badass, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying? To, to go down there and you ask a nigga like... You could shit here on a Martin Luther King memorial? That was not fuck? authorized by me. That was a guy named Kahuna. And um, he is Hawaiian. So in I some sense, he's. I, he did that in the middle of the night. I had no uh, way of stopping him. But, I couldn't rein him but in. You, but you laughed. Do you know the, that's true. Do you know the importance know. of Martin Luther King? I do, yeah. To all African Americans, yeah, bro? That's true, that's true. And yeah. you shouldn't even repeat it to where you say, go shit on it. Like, bro, you basically saying shit on our fucking ancestors, bro. Yeah, that, I forgot about that. I, I thought I was in the clear here, AD, because I was like, oh, a Compton video? That's no, way down no, the list no, of offensive no, things no, no, I did. No. But now you're bringing that up. Yeah, that was that was not great. And then the chalk, and you know what you know what I'm saying? The, the, the chalk line, oh, like, bro. It's like an outline, it's a, it's body, an outline right? of somebody's body, bro. Like, nigga, like, 
I'm from, bro. Like, my best friend got killed on my porch, bro, when I was 18 years old. Yeah. In Damn. Compton, bro. Yeah. yeah. I had to live at that spot, bro. 24 shots at my house, my grandma's house. You yeah. feel me? Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't think that shit is funny when people are sitting there mm. doing stuff yeah. like that. Cause you guess what? You will come over there, you'll make a million views yeah. on your content, and you get to go back to wherever the fuck you gotta live. Yeah. yeah. You know he, what I'm saying? So you're referring to the candlelight vigil. We met uh, a man who his his name was so offensive. And with the hot water I'm in right now, I probably shouldn't repeat it. He had a there was a slur in the guy's name. Really? But oh, he took us to the spot guy. where one of his homies, uh, to quote him, got smoked in some sort of gang-related violence. And I had an impromptu vigil. I poured out some water. We did like a chalk outline thing where one of us but, laid down. Why, it was disrespectful. But, but why do that? Is that funny to you? I, I can I the chalk outline. I think I might know. Crazy. I think this is I think this is what it comes down to. I grew up in a very sheltered middle class household. I had almost no hardship in my life growing up, and I suppose I sometimes lack empathy to other people's struggles. I do think that's true. And I think one of the things that makes me popular, that I am irreverent, and I'll make fun of cancer victims, I'll make fun of rape victims, like this race, that race. Sometimes that can get me into trouble, and I do cross the lines in ways that are meaningful. Don't mean to and, cut you off. And I do, I do regret just, some of the things I did. You just said... Cancer victims. Have mm -hmm. you ever had somebody with cancer in your in your family? My no. granny died of cancer. God damn! I'm, I'm you, just lower and lower. No, 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 brother no, 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 no. Okay, so how my you brother. feel with with a brother having cancer? Yeah. Somebody joking about cancer. They ain't nothing to play with. They ain't nothing to even it's joke when you up. when you see that. Because if your mama had cancer right now, I guarantee you, you wouldn't make no cancer. Yeah, no, bro. you're right. You're right. You yeah, know you're what I'm wrong, saying? Danny. Actually, <laughs> I'm on AD's side. You <laughs> fucked up. It's three to one. Actually, House Phone might have my back on this one. No, no, we don't talk about House Phone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But and then and then too, bro, like. Even saying the N word, bro, mm -hmm. you put the ER on that shit, bro. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. for wait, okay, for all right. Wait, wait, what was Cro the Danny, I just want to. We got to confirm this though, because you I said watched, I watched the video. So, so Danny, will you? Did you actually say? He said he was something say, with a janitor. He said, uh, uh, calling somebody a janitor is like calling somebody a nigger. Am I am I correct? Yes. Did you you actually said the he word? Yeah, I did. The ER. I, did. Oh, I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. See, see, Crocs. Damn it, Crocs. Crocs back it out. Yeah. No, I'm not back. I just didn't know that. So yeah, that was. And how long ago was that? That was in 2019, and. That was, it, again, it, it came down to me when I first started YouTube. A big priority of mine was like, I'm the cool guy. Nobody can tell me what to do. Eh, fuck you, YouTube. And I did go out of my way to be offensive sometimes. But I will maintain that when I said that shitty joke that wasn't good, there was absolutely no malice toward anybody. And it, it, the context was, not, I mean, it was comedic. Not good comedic. Not I don't. Comedic. I don't think it was funny. It's not comedic. But at it, all. it certainly wasn't hateful if you didn't either. Think it, was funny, it certainly you wasn't told it as a joke. As uh, you were doing stand up, weren't you? No, it was in a video. No, he it was, was in a. Bit. He was doing a prank. Yeah. When when a when a group of people was around and he said so that was the prank was just saying the n word. No, he no, wanted to get a reaction out of people, correct? Yeah. Well, so the pr the bit because was this. the word is so crazy. Yeah. You wanted to get a rise out of people, and then what I was the bit. The bit was this. So it was a longer video where we were janitors and we were doing all sorts of janitorial stuff. Uh, a girl came out of the bathroom in Starbucks and I was waiting out there with a mop and a mop bucket in my jumpsuit. And I went in there and started complaining, ah, you painted the bowl. This broad just walked in there and made a mess of my bathrooms. Just bits like that. I, That's crazy. I, I knocked on the door at uh, Hotel 6, and I told somebody that was staying there that uh, the prior resident had killed himself in there the night before, and I still needed to get some brain matter off uh, one of the duvets. <laughs> that was something we did. And then I— You're a fucking out of pocket. <laughs> and then so the bit was, I believe, that somebody what? called me a janitor, and I took offense because the proper term is custodian. Calling me a janitor is like calling a black person— and I was like, you better not say it. Like oh, no, I'm not saying. <laughs> I'm done. Nigga, no. <laughs> no. Yeah. No, no. no. And, and, and see, I, I want to I just want to say this and we can get off of this whole subject. Sure. Sure. You feel me? I, that was 2019. Yeah. I hope you learn from that situation. Yeah, yeah. You haven't said it no more, have you? No. Keep no. it real with me. Yeah. No, no. All right. Hey, not I'll even confirm, bro. Wait, wait, I... Croc, you look like one of them niggas that let him do that shit. <laughs> no. He gave you enough money, you like, nigga, fuck it. I ain't say that shit away. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, no, no. But I, but, but I, but I want to say this. You yeah, feel me? Because yeah, yeah. I believe in re redemption. Yeah, yeah. I believe, you know what I'm saying, everybody makes mistakes. Yeah. And talking to you right now, you don't strike me as somebody that's malicious. Or mm -hmm. I don't think you got yeah. hate for black yeah. people. But I want to say this. You're doing your shit on YouTube. You got yeah, a lot of shit going on. 
on, right? Yeah. You making a lot of bread, right? Yeah. Okay. So I want you to look at that camera right now. We're oh, gonna okay. do we're gonna do it like this. You gonna come down to Compton with me. Or do you agree? Yeah. You're gonna come down <laughs> to, to my city. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We're gonna do a toy drive. We're gonna do yeah. something. We're gonna give back to the community. I'm down. And we're gonna I'm do down. we're gonna do something the right way. And I'm we're gonna down. turn this situation to a great yeah, situation. Shout out to you yes. know what I'm saying? Yes. And we'll and we'll and we'll and we'll do it like that. Yeah. Listen, but I'm gonna hold you. To, I'm gonna hold your word to I'm that. I'm agreeing Danny. right now to go into Compton with AD, and I'm gonna do it right this time. AD, you might remember in the video, well, we slept about uh, a loogie's hawk away from the police department, yeah, that so that none of the, <laughs> the baddies could come and get us in our sleep. We were we were little pussies once the sun set. So mm. yeah, I will say that, and I have uh, AD. I have uh, scrubbed that word from my vocabulary and a lot of other words too because. I, uh, I'm as I've matured as a content creator, my priority is no longer just to be as offensive as possible. And I realize that while there are a lot of slurs that go against a lot of people in this country, in this time, those slurs don't carry the weight that that one does. And the the it was something about it, it's just supercharged with pain for a lot of people. And I accept that. And I I have no intention of saying it again. Or so we cool. We move on. Hell yeah. We'll do it. We'll do it. All right. What'd you think of that, Pom? That was interesting. That was interesting. But now I will say that talking to them for a while, I think Croc is fucking a star. Danny Mullen's a good guy. He was joking. Everybody's having a good time. I don't think Danny Mullen is a racist. I think he's just very insensitive with his jokes. A lot of comedians do a lot of dumb shit that we may not think is cool and shit like that, but I'm fucking with both of them, honestly. Okay. That's what's up. So on a scale of one through ten, what's the chances that he's really going to go to Compton and, and listen to what you said and pass out toys? I'm thinking right now, hopefully like a six or a seven. I give it about two. That's your opinion. Fred, Trey, what you think? Both the niggas. Oh, well, there it is. Danny Mullen and 80 is geeks. <laughs> oh, who you talking about? I'm talking about Danny Mullen. The punch together. Oh, he didn't say nothing. The croc nigga? He cool. Croc didn't say nothing. Croc is cool. Croc was cool. He didn't say nothing. You fired on him. He didn't say nothing, bro. That's his partner, right? No. They came on there together, right? I mean, he's like helping them and shit, right? He's a geek too. But hey, no. Croc is a star, man. Oh, that's his security? That nigga was cool. That's his security? He said, well, he said he's security every time he's with him. Oh, he I brought him? I think he, he brought him for you? You I think, think he, he brought him up there for you? I, sure. that's, I sized him up before we even went on camera. I said, you you were supposed to be here for but me? But do you think he brought him up there for you? I, I think kind of. Not necessarily me, but like to make him feel more comfortable. Oh. But if you're going to see the vlog coming out, you feel me? I was like, he supposed to bring him for, for me? Dude was like, well, maybe. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so do you think do you think Adam told him like, hey, you know you should bring somebody because AD might be a little mad about. I'm pretty sure. He's a sort of pre-warned. Adam, you know Adam the puppet master. He gonna do some shit like that. Yeah. Because has he ever came with Croc when he sat with Adam? I I wasn't there. I was never there. I mean, but he did Adam before, right? Yeah, but I never watched the interviews. I never like I wasn't familiar. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. yeah, he probably brought him for security, for you. Huh? I think he brought him for security for you. It's cool. Who would have won if, if someone would have left? I'm never gonna I'm never gonna bet against myself. I'm always gonna <laughs> say me. Straight up. That's right. <laughs> but shout out to Crockett, man. That nigga's a star. That nigga had me laughing, bro. That nigga said he paid four thousand dollars for a dating court. I mean, for dating instructions. For, paid who four thousand dollars? He didn't want to say the name, but he got lessons of how to like get more girls and shit. Four bands. Oh, Four thousand? Four bands, bro. Did it did it help? He said it did. Don't look like it. He color codes <laughs> his interactions Jesus with women. Christ. He logs everything in an Excel sheet. Huh? Yes, nigga. He he color codes. Like when he meets a girl, he writes it in a spreadsheet and he color codes the interactions. Fucking what? Yeah, bro, I'm trying to tell you. This is what he told me. Like, what do you write in Excel? what do you write? What does he put it in there? Like, like, like if he meets a girl, what is I know? Okay, what is, let's say if a girl is giving him play, he will give her like, I want to say, I think it's a, a like a yellow, 
And then he will like, you know, he, he, he got the data down. But I've seen a lot of these dating, dating gurus. They tell they tell people that they should track every interaction they have a woman and everybody they have sex with. So Hitch is real. Bro, yeah, there's a lot of dating gurus. That's Fresh crazy. and Fit sell courses. That's you feel me? Crazy, so the nigga writes down every girl he meets and then give her a color? Basically like the interaction. So he said like, if it's green, it's basically like he already smashed before. You feel me? He want to keep hitting every once in a while. Shit like that. She yellow. She's like potential. And if it's red, it's like like bad vibes, basically. That's weird. That nigga a future serial killer. <laughs> Piece of shit. That's weird, bro. That serial killer. That's, that's like, John, that's, that take a lot of energy, like. And that's what I told him. I said, the same way you could put some shit in the spreadsheet like that, you could start a business and put shit in the spreadsheet. You know what I mean? It's too much time. So after you crack her, you go in the car, like you meet her, oh, write her name down. Yellow, she's cool. Red, she's not cool. <laughs> like that's a, that's crazy. So he he writes down every girl he smacks. Then, yeah, every girl. So he got he a, gave he, he got gave a log a, with he, every he gave, girl he he, he, he gave a down. number too, huh? He gave a number his his body count. But he he get, so he he rates Is it the high sex. Or low? He's 23 years old. Does he? And rate, he said he smacked 23 girls. Does he rate the sex? Like he'll be like, she was a seven, she was a six. Does he rate the sex? I'm not sure, but I but I tell you what, he told me he got a hand job from Kazumi. Oh my god, that don't seem hard. This nigga said he's 23 and his body count is 23. <laughs> I mean, shit. I what mean, was your body count at 23? Obviously, now? obviously, if he paid four thousand dollars. For a course, that mean he didn't have no idea how to talk to women. Right. I had a, I had a what a three year old by twenty three. <laughs> Shit, twenty three. Nigga already had a baby. Twenty three. Wow, bro. Damn, dog. Twenty three, twenty three, and twenty three. That nigga said four thousand dollars a course on how to date, approach women, talk to women, and all mm-hmm. that. Damn. I mean, I know it's people out there that's like super like, sh- you know, scared to talk to women. But but everybody everybody that says they did it, they said that it was worth he said it was worth the money. And everybody that, that has these encounters, they say that these courses really helped them get more girls. I mean, you know. They say it's a science to this shit. Sometimes people just need a jump start. You know what I'm saying? That's true. So, you know. It's I a- mean, if you wasn't getting no ass and you wasn't having no shot, you was, whatever the situation is, what, I mean, is that money worth getting the help for? If you think that like this is gonna get me more bitches, if that's I mean, your shit. situation, then yeah, ain't like you spending money on taking bitches out nowhere. That's what I'm saying, four thousand. That damn a four a four piece, bro. Four piece, four piece. That nigga probably a Pornhub Pornhub gold member, huh? <laughs> he got all the fucking he could, nigga all the subscriptions. 23 at 23, that's it. It's crazy because I called Fresh and Fit and they was like 4,000. 4,000 is a lot. They don't charge 4,000. That's a lot. I don't know how much they charge, but motherfuckers be buying their courses. What type of crazy. course? Like, did you say, like, how long it was? Like, pause. How long was this, the course? No. For $4,000? He spent four bands on courses, bro. What would you pay 4,000 for, like, to help you with? Um, Like, some business shit. Yeah, how to make some more bread. All right, no business shit. Just on some personal. Personal? Personal, like, life shit. Like, shit that I'm into? You know, like, anger management. Like, oh, you know what I mean? What would you pay $4,000 for? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing, bro. Whole bands? That's a lot. Maybe therapy. That's about What kind it. of therapy you need? Oh, that's what he said too. <laughs> One of the lessons he he said that he will block the exit, so when a girl is leaving, <laughs> she has to like run into you. Huh? I, yeah, I keep saying like he, he will block the exit, block the exit, so the girl will have to like interact with him. Serial killer, I told y'all. He will block the exit. That's kind of crazy. That's serial killer. It's funny lies. as fuck. So he purposely blocks the exit so a girl can't walk out and she has to talk to him. He basically that's a creep, bro. Pay four thousand dollars to be a fucking creep. A creep. That's crazy. Wild. That's not creepy to you. 
Like it was funny when he said it, but now that you break it down like that, yeah. Like you trying to leave, like imagine your girl trying to walk out the door and it's like some big guy just blocks her. Hi, how you doing? Well, um, where you going? <laughs> that, that's, that's, a, crazy. that's a creep, bro. Do you think at one point in time, Dizzle, you ever needed help talking to women? Uh, nah, because I've always been a talker by nature. Right, right. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Have I been like... Shy, of course. Shy, yeah, nervous. It happens. Yeah, like when I was younger to talk to girls, yeah. But I don't see myself now having to pay somebody $4,000. Pay 4000 to learn to talk to women. Learn how to talk to a woman. Okay, let's say you was having bad trouble, right? Mm-hmm. And you was like, damn, ain't nothing happening... You know, what what amount would you pay if somebody said, hey, so right now niggas say, hey, give me $500. I'll make sure that you can knock down 20 bitches in, in the next two, three months. I mean, I think that shit. 500? So I think something like that, like, really stems from, like, self-esteem issues. You know what I mean? Like, a nigga with low self-esteem, like, like paying $4,000. That's insane. You feel me? Like, that lets you know, like, he, he probably, like, Imagine what's stopping you from talking to women? Like you feel like something about yourself isn't presentable or something. And then perhaps. So What'd you say? What session is the session where they teach you to block the door? <laughs> <laughs> session one. Block the door. <laughs> Field training. <laughs> session one. Session two. That's some sick shit. Session two. Grab a rope. Wait, wait what? <laughs> Session three, locker in the basement. How to stuff in a trunk. <laughs> Session four. What? <laughs> Don't forget the duct tape. <laughs> Don't forget the duct tape. Like, that's a weird session that's this nigga so was going through. Bro. I mean, I guess you got to do what you got to do. Man. Yeah, man, that's you crazy. Gotta get, but that's crazy as fuck. Yeah. Well, shit, it's working for him now. That's that's all that matters, right? Bro, that nigga funny, man. So, I mean, it, it's working for him now. He's still young. He's 23 years old, so he got a whole life ahead of him. I like, I like him and Danny. They funny, man. All right, man, we heard you. A lot of people, it was like, a lot of people was like, he should be on a Monday show now. You was just, you was just cussing him out. I just had to speak my piece. You was just being a bully. I wasn't being a bully. You just bullied the man and told him he got to pass out toys. I did not bully the man. That, my friend, is called extortion. 